Today, we are going to review the step-by-step -step process for completing repairs to the Collins Aerospace Goodrich de-icers. To maintain maximum functional efficiency of pneumatic de-icers, Collins Aerospace provides several options to make repairs to the surface of the de-icer that is leaking air due to pinholes or small cuts. These options include the Fast Patch Repair Kit and Pinhole Repair Kit. Please remember that this video is for reference only. During installation, proper documentation should be followed, including your aircraft maintenance manual and Goodrich Installation Manuals 30-10-25 and 30-10-50. It is important that proper PPE practices are followed throughout this process, including wearing safety glasses and chemical-resistant gloves as required. The 74-451-AA Fast Patch Repair Kit is designed to make patch repairs to Collins Aerospace Goodrich Neoprene and S-Stain pneumatic de-icers. The Fast Patch Repair Kit includes most everything needed to complete repairs to multiple de-icers of any shape and size and includes primer, small patches, medium patches, large patches, an emery cloth and buffing shield. Though the repair kits can be used to repair many instances of damage to a de-icer, some damages are not repairable and require de-icer replacement. This includes cuts, tears, or ruptures that cut the inflatable tube fabric, broken stitch or thread, damage which exceeds 4 by 9 inches. To ensure optimal functional efficiency of the de-icer, the displayed patch limits are not to be exceeded three small patches per 12 inch square, two medium patches per 12 inch square, two small patches and one medium patch per 12 inch square, or one large patch per 12 inch square. De-icers with damage which exceeds these limitations must be replaced. Fast patches have a one-way stretch across the width of the patch and must be installed with the link parallel to the de-icer tubes. Failure to do so may result in the patch lifting and failing when the de-icer is inflated. To install, use the buffing shield and medium grit emery cloth to buff surfaces. Wipe buffed surface with lint-free cloth, dampened with cleaning solvent and allow to dry. Next, apply one even coat of primer to the buffed surface and allow to dry 5 to 10 minutes. Once dry, Remove paper backing and press patch to primed area of de-icer, rolling patch with 2.5 inch roller while applying firm pressure. The aircraft can be flown immediately and de-icers inflated 30 minutes after installation of the patch. Be sure to complete a post-installation functional check of de-icing system per Aircraft Maintenance Manual or AMM. The 74-451-AE Pinhole Repair Kit is designed to repair pinholes, which do not exceed 1 16th inch in diameter. The pinhole repair kit includes most everything needed to complete repairs to multiple de-icers of any shape and size, such as cement, accelerator, buffing templates, application templates, application tool, cups, and stir sticks. To maintain maximum functional efficiency of pneumatic de-icers, no more than 20 pinhole repairs can be completed per 12 square inch area of the de-icer. De-icers with damage which exceeds the limitation must be replaced. To install, use the buffing shield and emery cloth to buff surface. Wipe buffed surface with lint-free cloth, dampened with cleaning solvent and allowed to dry. Secure and apply application template with hole centered over repair area. Open the foil overpack of 74-451-209 cement. Remove applepack pouch and clip corner. Squeeze contents into mixing cup. Insert the plug into the accelerator bottle. The dropper plug opening on 74-451-201 accelerator container is specifically calibrated for proper mix ratio. Add seven drops of accelerator into the container of cement and mix thoroughly with wooden stir stick for one minute. Apply repair material into the application template with wooden stir stick and use the application tool to firmly push material into the pinhole and level the repair. 
The application template should be removed as soon as repair is completed and material has been leveled to ensure a smooth appearance. Allow two hours to dry prior to inflating the de-icer or flying the aircraft. Be sure to complete a post-installation functional check of de-icing system per Aircraft Maintenance Manual, AMM. Unrepair damage limits proper function of pneumatic de-icers, decreasing effective ice shed, and can lead to ingress of water into the de-icing system. By performing immediate repairs with the kits discussed today, further costly damage to de-icers and internal components such as valves and sensors can be avoided. If you have any questions throughout this process, please do not hesitate to contact Collins Aerospace Product Support.